Welcome to the annual award presentation of the Richard A. Ledensky Senior Award for Excellence in Public Service. How many public servants do we have out there, people that are in public service? That's an awesome thing, isn't it? When folks are asked why they go into public service, you know the answer to that question? Come on, public servants. <laughs> A lot of people say they look for the possibilities, the ability to have impact. Public service is more than doing a job efficiently and honestly. It's a complete dedication to people, in our case, to the citizens of Baltimore. Michelle Obama said, I feel that the highest honor comes from serving the people and your country. Do you agree with that? It takes a special kind of person to be a public servant. Do you agree with that? Yes. Someone said that Moses was 80 years old before he was called into public service. Did you know that? <laughs> Not that you have to be 80 years old to have taken that career choice, but today's event is about recognizing those special individuals. And receiving an award or recognition for public service is a tremendous honor. It means you set the bar of excellence for others. Richard A. Ledinsky Sr. set the bar of excellence for, the pu for public service. Here to give us a history of this award is his grandson. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Dennis Richard Mahoney, who's a grandson of, of course, of Richard Thank you, Ms. Pender. I'm here today representing our family as we gather to present the Richard A. Ledinsky Senior Award for Excellence in Public Service. Unfortunately, my grandmother Angela is unable to attend as she continues her care at St. Joseph Nursing Home in Catonsville. She sends her well wishes to everyone and her congratulations to today's honorees. I would like to acknowledge the other members of the Ledinsky family who are here today, my Uncle Richard, his wife Dusty, my Uncle Frank, my mother Mary Angela, my father Duke, and my cousin Matt. On behalf of the Ledinsky family, I would like to thank Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake for continuing this award, which was established and named for my grandfather in 2004. Since that time, the committee has met on an annual basis to consider nominees from all city agencies and departments in order to select a civil servant who receives a miniature replica of the city battle monument, a cash stipend, and the honor of having their name enshrined on a plaque here in the beautiful City Hall Rotunda. We also would like to thank First Mariner Bank, represented by Mr. Dennis Finnegan, for their initial and continued financial support of this award. My grandfather began his public service in 1947 and served 43 years under eight mayors. After his retirement, Pop Pop would talk fondly with me and the rest of his grandchildren of his years spent at City Hall. His love for and dedication to the citizens of Baltimore was seven days a week, 365 days a year whether at City Hall or at home. That same around-the-clock dedication is reflected in the career of this year's honorees, Beth A. Stroman, also Etta Crafton and Clark Howes have displayed the wonderful attributes set forth in the award criteria. Congratulations to all of them on their recognition of outstanding service to our city. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very, very much. We're going to first start with our awards presentations with the two runner-ups of this year awards. And I'd like to first, um, before I do that, um, actually I'm going to bring to the stage first um, Etta Crafton. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about Etta. Etta has been employed with the Parking Authority since 1989. Throughout her tenure, she has served as a worker, investigator, and analyst. She currently serves as a parking specialist. Over the years, Etta's vast knowledge of the parking needs in the city has been sought, by, sought after by senior staff within and outside the parking authority. She has ass assisted our constituents with issues ranging from mobility issues to truck loading zones for businesses. Through the Residential Permit Parking Program, RPP, Etta coordinated parking surveys of residential neighborhoods. Etta is instrumental in finding appropriate locations and installing signage for the expansion of the Easy Park and car sharing programs. 
Until now, there was no award or citations or record for Etta. She truly demonstrated the characteristics for whom this award was named. Let's congratulate, congratulate, I'm sorry, Etta. And joining us to present awards this morning to Ms. Crafton is the Honorable Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake. Thank you. And you have your family here today also, right? You want to point them out? Yes. Um, this is my oldest daughter, my baby girl, well, my brother. Very good. Baby. No, no. Let's have the pause <laughs> here. <laughs> we also have some other recognitions representing the um, Honorable Bernard Jack Young, City Council President, is Deputy um, Chief of Staff, Carolyn Blakely. And, re and representing the Comptroller this morning is Linda Jones, Special Assistant in the Comptroller's Office. Comptroller regrets that she is unable to attend, but Ms. Crafton, she would like to present this citation to you to thank you for all that you do for the city of Baltimore. So would you come up, please? Thank you very, very much. Our next recipient, recipient is Clark Howells. Um, if you could join me here. In January 2013, Clark celebrated 20 years working with the Reservoir Natural Resources Division of the Bureau of Water and Wastewater, first as Chief Advisor and now as Watershed Manager. Some of Clark's accomplishments include the expansion of deer control efforts in the Lock Raven area and networking with groups like the Gun Power Conservatory and Pretty Boy, Pretty Boy Reservoir Alliance to improve the forested buffer around the reservoirs. His leadership skills led to a compromise between biking organizations' desire to expand biking activities and the need to protect the reservoir water quality. Clark's par partnership with the Maryland Department of Natural Resources, implemented better forest management practices and expanded bow hunting as a means of deer control. In addition to his full-time duties, Clark also obtained a second master's degree through the Baltimore City UB Fellows Program. Clark is a natural leader and a true public servant. And the mayor, if you would join me. Congratulations. And Clark has his wife and children here today. If you would please stand as well. Next, we'd like to introduce this year's 2012 recipient, Beth A. Stroman, Division Chief to Baltimore City Planning Department. Beth has worked for the city of Baltimore for 22 years. and that time, she has diligently and with great enthusiasm to make Baltimore a greener, cleaner, and more livable city. She has been steadfast in her commitment to Baltimore and its citizens, constantly seeking to improve and restore environmental conditions to make our urban communities greener and healthier places to live. Beth, Beth has been responsible for creating new greenway trails in Baltimore's Gwynn Falls 
and Jones Falls stream valleys linking over 50 communities to major parks. She initiated Baltimore's bicycle pro pr planning program, which created Baltimore's first bicycle master plan. She has developed comprehensive master plans that support the city's harbor through the maritime master plan and laid the foundation for the next major harbor development in the middle branch of the Patasco River. In 2008, she was tasked with creating Baltimore's first office of sustainability. Through her efforts, the office has grown from a solidary staff person to a team of six, largely through the financial support of grants. She has also served as chair of the Cleaner and Healthier Results Team for the Baltimore City Outcome-Based Budgeting Process from fiscal years 2011 through 2014. Ms. Stroman's Outcome Budget Results Team identified $2 million in additional savings in the city's budget for fiscal year 2012 while increasing the efficiency of city services. Her success in greening Baltimore is demonstrated by the recognition given to Baltimore by, by other experts in the field. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's winner, Beth Stroman. to yield to the award winner uh, for her acceptance speech that I think she may have prepared and then I would love to make <laughs> remarks uh, and, and congratulate our winner and our runners up. Beth? Thank you. Um, thank you everybody. Um, I think you all know that uh, I don't stand here by myself. I stand here with all of you. Um, I've been knocking on all of your doors. I know quite a few of you, because um, you know working for city government is the ultimate team sport, right? You know, um, I like to think of it as sometimes it's chess and sometimes it's mud wrestling. But you know. so first and foremost, I just want to thank all of you for putting up with me for all of these 23 years, because um, it's been great fun. Um, I wanted to also just very quickly uh, explain something about me so that you'll understand why I'm always such a pain in the butt and knocking on your doors all the time. When I was in the first grade, and, you know, you know how you're in the first grade and you're just learning to write and they go, write an essay, and normally everybody, you know, writes an essay about their dog or something about that. Well, my first essay was why adults had to stop littering <laughs> and clean up the environment. Okay. And I was quite shocked when they didn't say, that young lady is right. We're going to change our ways. <laughs> so I think I've been spending my entire life still attempting to convince everyone to do that. Um, and I'm going to continue to do it. I'm Thank not you. retiring. You know, <laughs> going away like everybody else. Um, so I just want to say uh, to everyone here what an honor it is uh, to be able to do what I love and what I believe in with you guys uh, for the city of Baltimore. Um, and I really cherish uh, this award because I really do believe in what it stands for in public service. And I think we all are proof that uh, actually working for the government is not a bad thing, it's a good thing. And what I tell all the college kids that come and talk to me is that if you really want to make change, actually, this is where you do it because we do control quite a bit. So thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It is a pleasure to be here with all of you uh, to celebrate and to thank, don't move yet, stay close. <laughs> uh, to, to celebrate and to thank our Ladinsky Award winners. This is our ninth annual Ladinsky Award. Each year we take the time to recognize those who have gone, gone above and beyond the call of duty to serve the public and we celebrate exemplary employees who have dedicated themselves to making their agency, uh, their city, uh, their agency and the city a better place to live. Uh, to Etta and to Clark, congratulations. Thank you uh, very much for all of your hard work. Uh, 
and to Beth, of course, congratulations. I am uh, very pleased that she is selected. Sharon mentioned uh, what, it, what, what are words to describe uh, public servants. And I'm sure, as you know, she gave us all the nice flowery ones. Uh, but you know, you know, I'm sure that there have been one or two times where somebody says, "You have to be nuts uh, to work as hard as you do uh, for uh, the amount of money that we're able to pay uh, public servants." Uh, and uh, I know that that you all are dedicated uh, beyond measure. So this is just a small token. Uh, to say thank you in the memory of someone who was such an incredible public service servant. Our Congressman Elijah Cummings often cites an old uh, proverb that states, you didn't inherit the, the earth from your parents, you borrowed it from your children. And that is to say, we're responsible for leaving our planet, our country, our city, our community better than we found it. And the Ladinsky Awards bring attention to the long-serving city employees who do just that. We hope that by bringing attention to these great employees, we can inspire uh, younger employees to do the same thing. I'm so pleased uh, that Beth has been selected. She's been with the city for 22 years. She's been steadfast. Um, that's another way to say crazy in her determination, <laughs> in her commitment uh, to Baltimore and, it, and its citizens. She constantly seeks ways to improve and restore environmental conditions to make our urban communities greener and healthier. Uh, she helped to create the city's first Office of Sustainability. Uh, that's, as uh, Sharon mentioned, the Bicycle Master Plan, the Maritime Master Plan, our Sustainability Plan. Her, with her guidance, we're finding ways to become more energy efficient, environmentally conscious, as well as be better stewards of our natural resources. Her dedication to improving the uh, condition of our uh, plants, water, air, will help our goal of growing uh, Baltimore by 10,000 families. Uh, families not only want to live in greener and a healthier city, but they want to know that they can make a difference on their street, on their in their parks, anywhere in the city. So again, Beth, thank you very, very much for your commitment. You set a great example. Each one of you, Beth and uh, the runners up, each one of you set ex an, a fine example uh, to your fellow employees on how we can make our city a, a, a better place and how, we, how one person, as Beth says, can make a difference. Um, I, I really am uh, grateful uh, for what you've done because you helped me. Uh, because all of this, all of the work that we do is an effort to make our city a better place for its residents as well as for our, our city employees. And we are in the midst of uh, making some pretty tough choices uh, to, uh, in the way that we do business in the city through our 10-year uh, financial plan. But in all of the work that we're doing, we have a long-term vision of what we want to be able to do for our employees, what we want to be able to do uh, for our uh, citizens. And because of hardworking employees, like each and every one of you, we're able to reach those goals. So I'm grateful for your commitment, your continued uh, commitment to the city that uh, you love so much. And now I know why we get along, Beth, because I was writing about crazy stuff like that when I was in first, first grade as well. I was um, obsessed with litter and how we were going to, how I was going to uh, do what I could to uh, make the, uh, the city a better place. And I'm glad after some years, uh, we are in partnership and working on uh, that exact thing. Um, you know, the Ladinsky Award, and I really want to thank all of the members, and if I could ask the members of the Ladinsky family, I know some of you have spoken, but if you could all stand, the members of the Ladinsky family. The families who have been recognized today have something in common. I know that the Ladinsky family can attest to this. Um, you have a, you've all had a second family and that's the city of Baltimore, that uh, because of the commitment of these employees who we celebrate and recognize today, uh, they have spent probably just as much or more time with their second family uh, than they have with you. 
and and because of your sacrifices, all of yours, in all of yours, including the Ladinsky family, uh, for which uh, this award has uh, been named, I am uh, truly grateful for your sacrifice. Because if it had not been uh, for your willingness to share your family member with us uh, for the service that they do for our city, uh, we couldn't get to where we are now and where we need to be in the future. So I am uh, again, I applaud the winners. Thank you. Uh, for all of your hard work. Thank you for going above and beyond. Thank you for doing what uh, needs to be done, even if nobody asks. Uh, that is what the Ladinsky Award, rep Award represents. And, and thank you uh, for, ho for uh, you know, holding up the torch for what it means to be a great public servant. And with that, I would like to make the award and then we will go and unveil Beth's name. All right, so first we have the certificate. Are we gonna, can I just do the, can we just do the, so I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna put this here, you can take that later, read it later, I'm sure. <laughs> just don't recycle it. <laughs> and I would like to come on over here okay. to present this award. And if I could have one member of the family come for the photo. Thank you very much. Okay. Beth Stroman, in recognition of your receiving the Richard A. Ladinsky Senior Award for Excellence in Public Service, the Comptroller says, I am pleased to join the citizens of Baltimore in warmly congratulating you on this triumph. If there is no worker involvement, there is no quality system, is a quote from a book entitled Thinking About Quality. Throughout the years, Baltimore has been blessed by your professional demeanor, your exceptional work ethic, and the quality and level of involvement by which you perform your duties. Your contributions to, Baltimore, to the Baltimore City Department of Planning have helped to create an environment that fosters proficiency and effectiveness. Best wishes are extended to you, and all citizens are invited to join me in this special recognition. Thank you. I think it is now time for the big reveal. Oh, yo, I'm sorry. Was I supposed to bring you up, Tom? Come on, I'm sorry. This is Beth's day, so I'm not going to be very long, but I did want to also acknowledge this is a very special day for Beth's family as well. Um, her parents, who recently relocated to Baltimore, are here today. Um, her sister, Gail, her partner, uh, Margaret, is here. So it's, it's really exciting for, for everyone. And you know, you've, you've heard uh, and seen in the brochure all that Beth has done. And you know, Beth and I, we, we pretty much grew up together in the planning department. I started just a couple years before her. So we are friends and uh, have been, I actually met my wife through Beth. Uh, so we, we go way back. And, but her, on, on the professional level, her dedication, her passion, her optimism, her service, and you know, really what she seeks to do is make the impact on all residents in the city and also an impact on improving city government. So I, I couldn't think of a more deserving person uh, than Beth. And I really do thank the Ladinsky family as well because this gives us all a chance to pause and, and really recognize how important the city service to the city is every year and without without you I don't think we do it in the same way and we should really be doing it more so thanks everyone and Beth congratulations all right before we do the unveiling and I know Beth you're not used to the you don't you don't seek the spotlight so you're, you're dying to get to your seat and I'm not going to let you. I do want to thank the committee members, Frank Ladinsky, uh, Dennis Fl uh, Finnegan, Ronnie Charles, Pamela Beckham, and Kathy Hammond uh, as well for, to, for Kathy and our uh, mistress of ceremonies, uh, Sharon. Do we have, before, I, be, before we do the unveil, do we have any uh, past winners or runners up with, in, this, in the honors? So let's give our past winners. <laughs> yes, yes. 